Hi, I'm Adrian Caravello. I'm a professor here at George Brown College, and I'm participating in the 12 days of CHCA. Here today, we're going to talk about shopping, shopping for wine and gifting for people who you might love or want to love around this holiday time. First, we're going to start off with sparkling wine. This is a go-to. This is something that is going to be making everyone happy, uh, no matter what style of wine that you choose. We're going to start with champagne. Champagne is the real deal when it comes to bubbles. It is so famous that most people associate any wine that has bubbles in it and call it champagne. But it has to say champagne for us to know that it really came from that particular region. Now champagne comes with a hefty price tag as well. We have to know that $50 to $100 is somewhat the norm of any bottle of champagne. But you're going to be really happy with your choice. I've got a great tip for you. Other bottles of sparkling wine, both made in uh, France, but outside of the Champagne region, will have the name Cremant on the label. It is made in the exact same way as Champagne. It will have very similar characteristics, but it will have more than half the price tag. Look for about $20 to spend on this beauty. When in doubt, Prosecco. Prosecco, Prosecco, Prosecco. Prosecco is an Italian sparkling wine, and it is made in a different manner, where it's made in a big, giant stainless steel tank. So all you get is about fruit expression. So stone fruits and floral uh, notes, and it's going to be just super delicious. Everybody loves Prosecco. Throw one in your bag. A suggestion for somebody who's a little bit of adventure, who likes to explore and try new things. Bring two bottles of the exact same grape variety from different parts of the world. When we go shopping, it's pretty easy to identify the grape variety here because it is right here on the label. This is a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. It says it right on the label, so that makes shopping easy. This version tends to be more passion fruit and guava, explosion of flavors and real uh, crowd pleaser. What people don't understand is this exact same grape variety is planted in many other parts of the world. But some of the more historic countries like France and Italy and Spain often just have geographical labeling because they've been doing it for a while. So this bottle, which says Sancerre on it, which is a region in France, is also made from the Sauvignon Blanc grape variety. The styles couldn't be more different. Here you're going to get more grassy, herbaceous characteristics. So it would be a nice com complement and contrast to one another, and just fun to play. When in doubt for white, the world's most famous white grape in the world is Chardonnay. So if you want a sure bet, grab a bottle of Chardonnay from any region in the world. It grows everywhere. Now, with the weather getting a little bit cooler, our cravings changing, a little bit more robust foods, usually our taste for wine also changes as well. Red wines often are appropriate for a dinner party or just our cravings as mentioned. We have the same situation with our champagne, with our Sancerre, that sometimes we just have geographical labeling. So if you want the big splurge and you see a, a bottle of wine like this that just says the geographical label on it, perhaps if you're unsure, ask anybody who might be working at the bottle shop or the LCBO who can assist you with what grapes might be inside the bottle. Another tip is you just flip the bottle over to the back and often it'll tell you what the grapes are inside the bottle. California Cabernet Sauvignon is also a fantastic idea. They tend to be robust, a little bit more fruit forward, and again, going to have a, a nice meaty characteristic that is maybe going to go with some of your heartier dishes that you're going to experience this year. Another go-to is the grape variety Malbec. Argentina is by far the most famous country in the world for their Malbec. They come in a variety of styles and a variety of price points. You can pick up a decent Malbec for $15, or if you want something with a little bit more complexity, $50, $60 of Meldex, they also exist. You choose to suit your budget. Again, you're going to make somebody happy. I just want to mention this particular brand, this Doe wine from Cabernet Sauvignon from California. We have a collaboration with this winery 
So a donation is made to students in both the hospitality and culinary schools each time you make a purchase. Throw this one in your bag and help us out. We can't leave without having something sweet. Now, sweet wines are made all over the world, but we are super famous for doing sweet wines well here in Canada. Ice wine has put Canada on the map as far as wine is concerned. Ice wine is very, very sweet. It, it can only be picked when it's below minus eight degrees Celsius. It sometimes is like syru syrupy sweet. Pick this up, you're gonna make somebody happy as well, and it's gonna go well on its own, or if you have a sticky sweet dessert to pair with it. If you don't want the price tag of ice wine, approximately $40, $50 a bottle for just a wee one, then something maybe in the late harvest category will be a little bit more gentler on your price point, as well as not quite as sweet. We all like things differently. So late harvest, again, is a fantastic choice. All these wines that you talked about today are all available at bottle shops around the city, as well as the LCBO. I hope you make a good choice. Happy holidays, and thanks.